This is our uh, electric meter for the house. Uh, as you know, an electric meter measures the amount of electricity that you're using and they bill you for it. And uh, I've always been interested in electric meters because uh, they're really quite amazing. I mean, they have this, uh, this is an old one. It, it has a plexiglass uh, cover. Inside there are five dials. And then you have that spinning uh, wheel there. I don't know how well you can see it. Uh, is that better? Yeah. Now you can see it's in type MQS made by Duncan. Um, and they seem very reliable. If you look at this meter, it says it was put into service July of 86. And uh, that's about 27 years ago. Uh, so if you think about it, this meter has been running for 27 years continuously. It's very reliable. It hasn't broken down. Uh, I don't know of many things in my house that actually work for that long. A watch wouldn't work for that long without service. So I'm really quite impressed. Uh, now looking at the meter, you can see over here, there are quite a few wheels on the side. You could probably see the same on your, on your meter. And then there's the main wheel that turns rather slowly. There's not much on in the house right now. Um, and what I've learned is when a, a friend of mine put solar panel, solar, pow solar power in his house, and he uh, basically, the wheel would spin backwards. Before, it was before he got uh, the newer digital meter. They, when you get solar, they switch you to a digital meter that measures how much you're putting out. Uh, and it gives you a credit for it. But until they did, he said that this wheel was turning backwards, but that the numbers would not turn backwards. So he wasn't getting credit for it. Uh, which is interesting, which means that there's basically an anti-theft uh, protection on the meter, which even if you could get the meter spinning backwards, let's say you put it in backwards, uh, that would, it would not give you credit over here. I mean, you'd be stealing electricity, and that's a crime, but uh, they, they've, at least the, the electric company's preventing you from getting your credit on your meter. Um, and we'll take another look at it. I was actually curious about it. I even brought over here a uh, magnet. I have, uh, I got this magnet from the inside of a hard drive. Uh, there's some very strong magnets under the read right head of your hard drive. Uh, very strong. It's, uh, and uh, they help the, the drive write data to the, uh, to the magnetic uh, circular uh, uh, wheels inside the drive. But it's under the read right head and it's a very strong magnet. And uh, basically, if you put this even close to the wheel, it has no effect. They, they have these, the glass is about an inch away from the metal. I'm not sure if it's stainless steel or aluminum. It might be aluminum, which would make it non-magnetic, which would be smart. But in any event, it looks like it's, um, it looks like it's probably stainless steel. And uh, this has withstood the test of time. The glass is pretty clean. There's a little bit of dust inside, but not much. So there must be a good seal, and it works. And you can see on the back, uh, there's that... I don't know if you can make it out. There are layers, basically. I think you can see the layers there, uh, over here. And that is, it looks like a transformer. Basically, I think it's stealing electrons that, as they're passing from the main into your house. And it is, the more you're, you're pulling in, the more current, the more it's, the more electrons that get stolen through this transformer into a motor and power the, the turning of the wheels. And that's probably how they measure it. Um, and like I said, these things are very reliable. They, they're, they're very they're maintenance free. And uh, they seem to work well over time. My only question is whether they're actually accurate. You know, I'm wondering whether if you have a, if you're a compressor and your air conditioner turns on and this wheel starts spinning very quickly, does it actually slow down? I mean, as fast as it should, or does it just have the momentum and overbill you uh, for the time after the compressor turns on. And if that's the case, that's a reason to have a hard start capacitor in your in your air conditioner compressor, which would even out those flows and not uh, uh, and make it a more even flow uh, instead of having that hard startup with all that electricity being drawn. There's another. I have another video on that. You could watch that. Uh, or I wonder whether, as these meters get old, uh, do you? Uh, do they charge you less? Maybe the wheels don't spin as, as fast, or they get some. Uh, there's more friction in there. I'm really not sure. Um, with gas meters, the, lo the older they are, uh, the less that they're going to start to undercharge you. And you can see that. I, I talk more about it in my other video, 
dealing with the uh, boiler. But this is the meter, and let's take a look at it. Uh, first thing I did was you want to shut off your generator if you have a generator, because otherwise it'll start when you disconnect it. Let's take a look at it. I have to put this down. And you have a latch here. We own all this. We don't own the meter. Open the latch. This pops out. And there you have it. Now, here's the meter. Now, if you look at the meter in the back, basically, coming from the service, if you look at the service line, there's three wires, a black, a, white, a, black, a red, and a neutral. It's 220 volts. Uh, and uh, Let me see, I only have two hands, but basically, uh, you're getting, each one of those legs is 120 volts. And there's a lot of amps there. I mean, if you touch that, you really uh, injure yourself. And there's uh, no reason to do so. Uh, and now where's the ground? Well, on the service side of the, by the utility, they, they, were, they combine the ground and the neutral. So that white wire is the ground and the neutral. In your house, you're supposed to divide it up in your, in your uh, box. One side neutral, one side ground, but uh, most times they don't do that. It's safer to, to split that up. Uh, but there are better videos and people who know more than I do who uh, can explain that to you. Um, and you look around, that's the power coming in. And then on the bottom, you have the neutral, goes, that goes into the house. And you have the red and the black, each one also 120 volts. That goes down into the house. Now there's a ground, as you can see, the ground comes up and it's connected to the box itself. So the box is grounded, which you really basically just connecting the ground, which is the box, to the utility neutral. You see that's connected. Now this is pretty tight. I thought I could pull it out, but I'm a little hesitant to do so because if I don't get it in, I'd really have a problem. But as you can see, there's a, there's a metal band over here uh, where the glass ends over there, and that continues around. And that's a waterproof enclosure uh, that connects it. Now this is made of, like I said, it's made of Pyrex. There's a lot of metal in there, a lot of gears. Uh, there's no way that they're making this type of meter today. There's no way. I mean, this meter probably it could, it would probably cost you today about a thousand dollars to make, and they're not going to want to install a thousand dollar meter on in every house. So the meters today basically have they're made out of plastic, and inside there's there's really nothing. A small digital counter that that's able to measure the power going through without all these transformers in here, all this heavy metal. Um, they just don't make that anymore. Um, now the meter looks like it's it's that long piece that goes across and hooks in, latches into the hot. Now, what other what, the other thing you want to look at it's when you buy a house, you really want to check this out. First of all, you want to check out the safety of this meter uh, of the electrical work. You want to make sure everything is done properly. Um, as you can see, it's a new box. Um, but the other thing you want to make sure is no, the person before you hasn't been stealing power. And what pe sometimes people do is they'll take the hot, the two hots there, and the, and the neutral. Actually, they don't need to take the neutral because they can get the neutral inside your house. Uh, but they'll take the two hots and they'll split it right before the meter. And what they do is they'll, they'll extend it, they'll attach it to the meter, and then they'll also extend it like a T and drill a hole in the back of the box and run it into the house. Now, why do they do that? Well, the electric company comes by, they're not looking inside your box. I mean, they're just going to read the meter. Um, so what they'll do is they'll take that, they'll run that inside those two hots, the 240 volts, and it's two, each one's 120, together it's 240. And they'll run that into a separate box inside your house. So that, won't, that extension from these two wires won't be metered. And then they'll connect their air conditioning units to that. So basically, they won't be paying much electricity. 
Um, obviously that's theft, it's not something you want to do, but you also want to make sure that the person before you didn't do it. Because I guarantee you, you're going to be held responsible if someone did something, uh, you know, and you moved in and, you know, and used it. Now, on the side here is, there's a lever. And what that lever does actually is it allows you to bypass the meter. In other words, uh, if you can take out the meter and then pull this uh, lever up and it'll make the connections across and it'll connect the power from the utility down into your house. Now, obviously you wouldn't want to do that, that's, that's theft, but I could imagine an emergency where somehow your meter died and you call up the electric company and say, look, I need the meter, I need the meter replaced, and maybe, there's an, maybe it's, they're busy and they can't come, and you say, look, I, you know, I don't have electricity, I need to survive, I need to bypass your meter um, to get electricity, and then, you know, you could work it out with them. Um, and that, that allows you to bypass the meter. Another reason is, what you, what you could do is, another th good reason to be familiar with this is, if God forbid you have a fire in your house, an electrical fire, and you just can't get down to the fuse box to shut it off, you can open this up, and then just, the me this meter would come out if you just pull it and yank it out. Um, you just grab both hands on it, and you just pull it, and that's it. And that's really all there is, I'll give you a few of it. Now you don't want to stick your hands in there. In general, with electricity, you don't want to stick your hands in. Unless, uh, because you really could get electrocuted. But I'll give you a quick view underneath. Those are the lines going in the house. Those are coming up from the utility, going into the house. And that's really all there is to it. I mean, sometimes you may have a seal on there. I mean, I, I don't, I, this one did not have a seal on it. Sometimes they like to seal at the utility. I don't think you have a problem breaking the seal because uh, you own the box. Basically, you, your responsibility is everything from up there, from where the wires come into the house, come up, connect to your house, everything after that you're responsible for. This is yours. The pipe come down, the box, and then the pipe going into your house. Everything's yours. The only thing that's not yours is the meter. Well, I hope this helped. And uh, if anyone has any suggestions or anything, please uh, feel free to comment.